Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and for this one I can just be reacting in any plain old outfit. I had to pull out the good classic Batman sweater because we are now reacting to the Batman trailer and I'm so psyched for this. If I have to be honest, when I was younger I did have a little bit of dislike towards Robert Pattinson because I was sadly a huge fan of the Twilight series and I think just as I got into high school I was like oh my god ew I was into Twilight I have to hate everything about it and also I only saw his acting in those movies and it was like there's not much you can do when it's like oh yeah play this old dead creepy guy that's in love with this teenager so you know it's kind of like the whole Hayden Christensen and Anakin like good actor but just given a bad script but after I saw him in the lighthouse he is such a good actor I don't know why I ever had any hate towards him I feel bad for that I need to watch more of his movies but just literally, I saw that movie and I was like, I'm actually so excited to see him as the Batman because, you know what, maybe he will replace my favorite Batman, which might be an unpopular opinion, but it's Ben Affleck as well as Michael Keaton. They're kind of tied because I just, I love the Tim Burton Batman movies so much. And I love the Zack Snyder DC films so much. So it's just, ugh, if he can like beat those two, I am really excited. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk anymore because I just really want to see this trailer because it's Batman. If you don't like Batman, who hurt you in life? Because like, he's the coolest fucking character ever. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. oh okay, damn. He got his whole face duct taped. That's Ooh, we got Jim Gordon. that Batman? Let's play a game. Just me and you. Riddler? Any of this mean anything to you? Oh! You're becoming quite a celebrity. To you. Oh, is that Catwoman? Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, he looks slow. Moody. Oh, oh. Are are they trying to get us to guess when it's gonna come out? I don't like Riddler riddles, so I'm just gonna wait for someone else to figure it out. Um, I will say 
maybe it's just me, but from this trailer, it looks like a different, like, take on Batman. I don't know if that entirely makes sense. It's just, there's, like, the communicable types of Batman, um, with the, uh, I think it was Val Kilmer. I don't know if he was the actor or the director, but the whole 90s Batman when it's like George Clooney and then the other guy and then hmm, there's the whole Tim Burton which was a little bit dark but also communicable. Then there's the whole Christopher Nolan where that was more like a what if Batman actually existed in the real world and then there is the Zack Snyder's Batman, which was kind of more towards like the comic book themed. And now this one, I think it looks more kind of like maybe like a mystery noir like thriller type of thing, which honestly, I love it. It's good when like you get different uh, twists on superhero movies because um, <coughs> cookie cutter formula. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, we just don't want the same old fucking movies for like 24 films. Not that there aren't bad, but if you're given the same stuff as a fan, or even as an audience member over and over again, it kind of just goes like, oh yeah, I remember that joke. You guys made the similar joke to 12 other movies. It gets really old and tiring quick and then it's, you'll still go see the movie, but you don't enjoy it as much as you did when you were younger or when you first saw it and you're like in awe of like this whole new thing. But this, I'm excited. I don't think it really revealed that much other than the Batman suit, which we did already see, but we got better details of that. Um... I don't entirely remember which villains are supposed to be in this. I think they were trying to get a bunch. I'm pretty sure from the trailer you can tell that's Riddler and Catwoman. They have a really good list of actors, so sometimes even if you have a good actor, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have a good movie, but I trust this. This is just... <sighs> Matt Reeves please do an amazing job because, you know, I just, I want a really good Batman movie. The last time we got Batman was in, what, Justice League for live action and, um, broke my heart. So, yeah, please, please don't ruin him. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to Ben below. Comment down if you're excited to see Robert Pattinson as the Batman, because I'm really psyched to see his acting. I know there is the whole um, issues of this, like, oh, him bulking up for the Batman role, but I mean, I don't think you entirely need to look extremely bulk to be strong. Like, you can still look not skinny, but not like ripped with muscles, all swollen and stuff to actually be able to like fight people or just have the strength to do anything so it's gonna be interesting to see how they do it with this movie but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the final reaction